Hello, and welcome to Ellen Ruth's Soap. I'm Ellen, and today the soap I'm going to be making is part of the winter YouTube collaboration, and the theme is Wonderland. And I'm super excited. I made one attempt earlier, which turned out to be uh, my winter berries video because my little embeds migrated. It was very Picasso Christmas looking, not what I intended. So I rethought what I'm gonna do. I'm approaching it differently today. I'm so excited about this collaboration. I'm gonna have a link in the description box below. There's over 80 soapers in this and they're all fantastic. So go check them out. Um, the link is down below. So the some of the requirements for this collaboration are you have to use milk, any milk of choice. I am using raw organic cream from its cow's milk uh, that I get and I skim off the cream. Sometimes I make butter, sometimes I save the cream. Well, I'm using the cream today. And the other uh, requirement is it has to have the color white in it and it also has to have sparkles. So. What I've got going here for my wonderland, I thought winter wonderland, um, because I grew up in Wisconsin in the deep woods, lots of snow. I love winter, very nostalgic, and I love pine trees. That kind of, the whole winter wonderland reminds me, I used to walk through the woods in the middle of winter or the snow, and so that's kind of what got me thinking. So some of the things I have going on today are, uh, for my white and sparkle, I have this French white shimmer from Crafter's Choice, and it's a, a shimmery white. I'm also gonna be using some titanium dioxide in there to kind of help the white along. I have some organic, not organic, I'm sorry. I have earth-friendly bio glitters that I'll be sprinkling along as I go. Um, I'm gonna show you my rough sketch. I'm such a terrible drawer. I'm not an artist. I, I do soap art. <laughs> my drawing skills are pitiful. So I'm going to show you my rough sketch here if it comes up. Oh my, lighting. So I'm going to have snowy hills. This is what I'm trying. This is very ambitious. My little snowy hills. I'm going to have a little lake front. I'm going to try and do a reverse feather swirl for my pine trees or swirl, but um, I'm going to put a cable tie down in here and try and do a reverse um, feather hanger swirl. I don't know. You'll see when I get there. And I made this beautiful sunny yellow embed just using a uh, clear melt and pour and then I used some uh, yellow vibrance and some uh, gold mica in here to make sort of a sparkly sunshine. I want this to be a sunny mountainy winter day. So we're going to have snowy mountains. Hopefully we're going to have some beautiful pine trees and uh, blue skies with the sunshine. That's what I'm going for. Oh good heavens. You know if I can pull this off <laughs> I'm going to be so grateful. You're all coming along with me and it, you know if it's a colossal fail we'll just laugh together and uh, it'll still be wonderful soap to get you clean with. Um, for the fragrance, I am going to be using Sleigh Ride from Brambleberry, and I adore this fragrance. It's just fresh and pretty, and um, I don't think it has to necessarily even be a winter fragrance. I think it's fabulous. I'd use it all year round. So that is going to be the scent. Uh, oh, I have my oil split. I'm going to do the snow in the lake in the first, you know, pour. And then, um, so I split my lye and my oils, and then the sky and the trees will be a second pour. Um, and to my oils, I have added organic colloidal oats and kaolin clay, so that will be in everything. And, uh, and then the cream and the lye solution, I did put some tussa silk fibers and some sodium lactate, sodium lactate in there to help firm this up. <laughs> so we're going to go for it and uh, just do this layer by layer. You're coming along with me. Let's see if we can make my picture and my vision happen in soap form. So welcome to the Winter Wonderland collaboration. I wanted to show you these cable ties that I talked about. Um, you can get them at Harbor Freight, Walmart. They literally are cable ties, so they're in the hardware section, but they're bendable and they have a nice rubber coating and they make fabulous swirling tools because you can bend them to any shape uh, mold you have. So I'm using my Essential Depot mold today um, and so I just fit these in there. So these are great and they come in several different lengths and even some different widths. So just cable ties, you can get them on Amazon. I'll link, um, that's where I got, I ordered these on Amazon. I'll put the link below. Um, 
So I wanted to show you those. And I just want to give a shout out. If you enjoy my videos and uh, you like watching soap being made, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe. And also check out all the other collaboration videos below and consider subscribing there too. For It's just fun and uh, good information. If you're a soaper, if you're a wannabe soaper, check it out. So I'm ready to do my little first layer of Snowy Mountain. I have my cream lye solution here and my oils with all the additives. And I'm going to go ahead and add my shimmer white to the oils right now because um, I can have that in everything, including my lake, which is, oh my word, this is gorgeous. Proud Peacock from Nurture Soap. I have a Nurture Soap link below, but this color is like my dream color. It is so gorgeous. All right, so sorry, I segued off. I get so swoony over these colors. <laughs> Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and just add this. It's so sparkly. Unfortunately, in cold process, you lose a lot of the sparkle um, inside. So um, I will put some on the top when we're all done. But I'm going to put a nice rounded teaspoon right into the oils. And then I um, am going to add also just a smidge of titanium dioxide. And there's already a little bit in the lye solution just to get knock out the cream, but like maybe, gosh, that maybe is a half a teaspoon or less of titanium dioxide in there. I just kind of want to knock down the creamy color and get into the snowy color. Because up north, you know, yellow snow is kind of a joke. Um, <laughs> so I want white snow. I'm going to take my stick blender and just blend these colors in before I add my lye. Very gentle. All right, there we go. Now I've got my lye solution. I'll add it and I'm just going to stick blend for a sec and then I will probably whisk and pour off my blue for the lake. Let's just make sure this is all fluid and ready to go. And there we go. I want to make sure that that was incorporated really well. This is a little bit full. All right. Get this nice and emulsified. And it's a little ivory color. That's okay, I can live with that. I don't want to add too much titanium dioxide because then you get into the risk of, run, um, you run the risk of getting glycerin rivers, which wouldn't be bad, but I don't necessarily want those in this. All right, that looks pretty well incorporated, so I'm going to pour off just a little here for my lake. Not a ton. You know, it's not a big lake. Well, maybe just a little more. There we go. All right, there's my lake. And let's get this over and pour the first little part of my snowy mountain, and then we'll stir up our lake. Oops, sorry. And I'm going to pour probably two-thirds of this for our one half of our mountain. And then I need just a little bit to top the lake. I think that's pretty good. So, while we let this firm up and I'll texture that, I'm going to take my little teeny whisk here and come in and start stirring our lake and see if that's a good color and it's beautiful. It's very light because of the titanium dioxide and the white mica, but that's okay. I think that uh, lakes when they're cold look a very icy blue and that looks good to me. So now it's just a waiting game. I need this to firm up just a little so we will come back uh, when we're ready to pour our lake and then the rest of our 
uh, snowy range and then we'll move on to our next layer. So while well, the little bottom part here of my mountain was firming up, I added a little bit of this stormy blue mica from Brambleberry to a small cup that I'm going to actually do a little in the pot swirl here for my lake because I wanted it to have a little dimension. Not a ton, but just a little bit so it wasn't just a flat color because I feel like it adds just some artistic dimension to it. So, let's see. So I'm going to just kind of try and scoop it down in there a little. There we go. So that kind of, I think that gives it a little prettier vibe. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. Get that out of the way. So that's firm enough to hold up here. And we'll go ahead and get our little lake poured. going to have to clean up the sides. I don't want lake up there in the sky and I have one little blip there that I need to grab the clean end of my popsicle stick and just nip that out of there. All right, now we've got our lake. I'm going to just jiggle that and kind of smooth it out a little. And there we go. Lost track of my stuff. Here is the rest of my snow that I'm going to just sort of spoon on top here. Because I don't really want it to break through the surface of the lake, but I want it to sort of look, you know, like a when you slice it, it'll look like a mountain surrounding it. That's the theory. It's kind of funny to try and translate a picture, you know, what it's going to look like in a slice for me. I don't think dimensionally like that. Some people do, but I really have to like think it through. It troubles my brain. I'm not very good at dimensional thinking like that. If you are, kudos to you. All right, and I kind of like it sort of lumpy like that. Um, so I may just let give this just a little jiggle, but I like the texture. So I'm just about to mix my oils and lye for the next thing, but let me show you my cast of characters for the next scene. For my sky, uh, I'm going to use Belly's Blue Mica from Nurture Soap. It's very pretty. It's sort of a silvery blue, so I have it dispersed in a little bit of sunflower oil here that I'm going to pour into. Also, I'm going to swirl with Stormy Blue Mica from Brambleberry, and that's kind of a steely gray blue. So I'm going to do like a wispy swirl with just the base color. That's the sky for my tree. I have uh, the powders in here. Um, I'm doing a combination of Alpine Green and Evergreen from Brambleberry and Nurture Soap just to get sort of a nice pine tree green. That's what I'm using for my trees and for my tree trunk I'm using Cappuccino Mica and I'm just going to mix a teeniest little bit up in this Dixie cup to get a tree trunk. So what I want to do is uh, we'll lay the tree trunk down, put my gear ties in and then pour the trees over top. That's the theory we're getting ready to move forward, oh boy. <laughs> and it's time to add my cream lye solution to my oils. And I will be hand stirring this because I've got a lot going on and I want as much play time as I can get. So I'm just gonna stir this to an emulsion. If I need to put my little whisk in here, I will. One of the ways you can tell if it's emulsed or not is if you're stirring and you stop and the oils rise to the top, that means that you haven't reached full emulsion yet. Now you can get a false emulsion if you're working with um, 
very different temperatures and things I've heard, but I don't know. So, all right, I've stirred it, now I'm stopping, and I'm not getting anything rising to the top. And that just means that the lye has bonded with the oils and they're not going to separate. That's a good thing. <laughs>
back the next morning. It's the moment of truth. <laughs> oh my, this could be really interesting what we've got going on here. Let's get this out of the mold and see what we've got. I know that first pour of the tree, when I poured the blue sky over, it really f migrated up. So I have a feeling that those trees might be a little wonky, but let's just see. The colors are beautiful. Oh yeah, my tree trunk looks pretty massive. Oh mercy. Let's get this in the cutter and see. All right. Gonna just cut the little end piece off here. Oh wow. That's kind of cute. Let's see. Oh, that's funny. My tree's down there. It's like floating tree in the sky. But I love how the lake came out. All right. Oh, I'm trying to be positive. Let's get in here. And there's the inside. It's a little strange down there, but you know, I think the uh, general idea comes through. It's kind of cute. That one's a little floaty, but hey, it's not as bad as I thought. I was uh, really concerned that these were going to be just crazy inside. And um, they're not, they're not too crazy. I'm being optimistic. Let's get into the middle of these and see how we go. There's my little winter wonderland. And I put glitter on top. And again, this has the raw cream as my milk. And there's my white. So at the end of the day, with my Wonderland, <laughs> I learned that I'm not very good at landscape soaps. So this was my first attempt, which I'm calling Winter Berries now over on my website and my video. Um, they All my little embeds migrated. I was going to line them up and they just floated. So that was my first attempt. And this is my second attempt of pouring the trees and doing a reverse feather swirl through there. So um, I'm happy with how these turned out. I'm going to stick with these for my collaboration. See how it kind of swirled over. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got to work on my landscape skills, but they're still pretty. Um, so yeah, winter wonderland. There they are. And these smell fabulous again. And I love how the colors came out, even though it's not as defined a picture as I was hoping for. I think they came out really pretty. I think these are an improvement over this. These look like, you know, a preschooler put them together, but it's still really good soap. So there we go.